Welcome back for another exciting new episode of Life is Strained, Strange Remastered. And we are going to do episode 2 out of time. And we'll see what's the difference and everything. And since they wanted to create this game for like a little anniversary for it. And then when we finish that, then we get to do the episode 3, Chaos Theory. And then episode 4, Dark Room. And episode 5, Polarized. So, can't wait to play chapter 2 for you guys. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And also leave a like if you love this video and also leave a comment below what you guys think, think of the video and let me know which character you guys love in this series that you that you get to see in the later on future well of course I played the original game copies even though they have not remastered Life is Strange 2 which it probably won't happen for another a while now because it already has good graphics on it they're probably going to put it into the next gen if they really want to but it's up to them and since it's up to Square Enix because they were working with Square Enix when that game was developed and it was their last game of Square Enix in uh, True Colors and I love the company Square Enix because that's the company that created Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts and so on. So they they do a lot of great games for me to play. So if you guys want to see some Final Fantasy on here, I do have some Final Fantasy games. I'm not sure how many I have. I do have Final Fantasy X and X uh, slash two whatever remastered. Even though it was remastered for the PS3. And I, I wish your PS3 games would play in the PS4. If you had the disc copy, I wish that would happen. But, oh, well, um, I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen. I mean, they're going to be adding PS3 games in digital, but what's the point? But, just so you guys know, I am also buying... And it is the Xbox Series S. And I want to tag along with my Xbox buddies that I've been friends with for quite a, a while now. For like two years. And now, I'm, now I won't be alone to play Xbox with them. I just got to play whatever when we can. But it's, it's too bad that we... So we, could, we don't get to play it the same day. It would be the opposite way or whatever. But if my friends got the same days off, then it wouldn't have been an issue. <sighs> and then I got a doctor's appointment next Monday at 10.25 in the morning. Even though I'm going to be there earlier than that. So I'm going to be there like at 9.50. That's the top. May or maybe 945 because even though they said 1040 but but now I got a text message that says 1025 I guess so I just gotta show up earlier than that and then yeah and then do some live streaming and, and Catch up on some good movies that I have for my collection to see if I want to keep them. That's what I've been doing lately, trying to catch up with the movies that I have not watched for a while. Or the ones that I bought, you know, and I'm trying to separate them because I have like DC on one side. Um, I have like the, the real life series. Like, Married with Children and that 70s show, Say by the Bell, you know, those kind of series. That's going to be part of it. And then I have 
animation series which is full of anime and animation which I have only four seasons of King of the Hill and the nerdy series like the Power Rangers and the ones I grew up with I those are the ones I'm only going to be caring about because those are the Power Rangers I grew up as a kid when I was young because I grew up with Power Rangers Galaxy the Power Rangers Mega Force or whatever you know Power Rangers Wild Force so that was a that was a great Power Rangers I mean, they should have done another season but all right we are about to do chapter two and let's see what life choices that we pick on chapter two and let's see what we are missing in the collection mode I got that one already I just missing another collected item in there then I didn't somehow I got a col I don't know how I I don't know. Well, at least I got that one. I think I was supposed to be carving on something, but I don't remember. Oh yeah, I think I was supposed to carve in that tree or something. And then I was supposed to be carving on something, I guess, on that uh, that part. At least I got that one, and that's pretty much it. Oh. So it looks like I need to get that. Let me do the cliff. But I can do that later. Because I want to hear the music in this game. Because I love the music in this game. And so go right ahead. Check this game out. You can also play the original if you want to. Because PlayStation does a really good job with the sales of trying to. So the game, the game for you guys. For uh, whatever. Well, of course, if you have Game Pass, since we got Game Pass now, you can play as many free games as you want, or whatever, how many games you can play. But I don't have that. I only have Plus right now, so I can only play online with whoever I'm going to be playing with. That's why I'm trying to have like 100 episodes of Call of Duty. So, I probably won't do an episode even though I wanted to. It just depends on how I feel. Alright, guys, here we are. We're gonna do episode two out of time. Hope you guys will enjoy the episode. So, here we go.
am so wrecked after staying up all night. I could use my rewind to catch a few more Zs, but maybe I better save my strength. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Warren is blowing up my inbox now, as long as he helps me figure this out. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here.
Drink up. It's got electrolytes. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall it be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Whoa, hello zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Fine, I won't disturb you. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. I sure would like to catch this hall tagger. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max.
Whoa. The Vortex Club are such pigs. Turn the goddamn music down. People pick me. Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Hmm. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Don't say that out loud, dork. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Rollerblades! Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Oof, hope they don't get busted. This is both sad and pathetic. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max, did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What about Zachary? Did you let him off the hook? When he acts like a worm, I let him dangle. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around.
Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Go away! People sleeping! Clearly not a morning person. Hey, Max. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my notes for class? Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. I'm good to flow, thanks. Otter power? I'm so not there. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it.
Excuse me, I'm texting Zach. Let's talk later, Max. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Oh shit, Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. No book here. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. she just spilled soda on Kate's book. We better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game, instead of drama games. Fine, I won't disturb you. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Kate really has a doting father. Ouch, she left out amnation.
Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Um, uh, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would, but it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... Are you sure? Of course. You think I'm making this crap up. 
Why? No, I'm just being deductive, as usual. Then what happened? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just... I think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal, after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. So, Max? If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Yes, you should de- Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself?
Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need- How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet, and I can feel the animals waking up with me. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. So did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg, and she gave me those photos. Oh, you talked to the police? Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah, she gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but... I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will.
Max, check it out. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel.
Yep. I'm ready to cash my lottery ticket. Glad somebody is. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steal deals my lottery Talk about ticket. going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Hi. You look... Lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. No time for chit-chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. It might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town.
What happened to you? What didn't happen to me? Sometimes you start out in life turned around the wrong way. I married dumb, made mistakes, got cheated out of my savings, lost my home, and now I hang out here. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. I have to go now. Goodbye. Obviously, nobody took my advice. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Uh, stop. There's something creepy about that guy and his dog. smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. Now oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. This guy has serious cojones. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns.
You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. That graffiti has been here forever. Gross. Gross. Thank you, redneck poet. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said that we belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joyce so much stress. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kinda has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. There she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. 
I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe oh, must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I love nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going die. back in time. This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. No beer. But then it wouldn't be a moment. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. 
Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Some old chewing gum? Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. So this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. You definitely have a razor blade keychain. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A bullet. Just like your necklace. That was so... wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond... So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. So... So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. You definitely have a razor blade keychain. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you.
Okay, Max, study every item carefully and don't forget anything. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 82 cents. I wish. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a... Seven. A superpower that... Amazing. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. A parking ticket. You know me well. But, what is the exact time I was busted? Ten thirty-four a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Amazeballs! I literally just got chills all over my neck! You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That's the best song I've this heard This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for?
I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a butterfly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Dude, Did you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so Slap cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. This is a sad day in Maxwell. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? I'm going to predict The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he answers it. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Dude, Did you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think dick. not, Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm going to predict. Joyce drops her plate, and the truckers make fun of her. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, but he does nothing except eat a donut. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and... This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a fly lands on it. 
pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. That is Did so wrong. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think dick. not, Max. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. This is a sad day in Maxville. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Dude, Did you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think dick. not, Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Fucking A. This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? I'm going. The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets in a... Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor... This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes... Pretty bizarro, Matt. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait, really? go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. And he's off to go bust some skaters. 
You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You cracked me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked, so I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. I'd love to lecture you over coffee, but I prefer to drink in silence and solitude. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Hey Kate, what's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument.
this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you, and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Are you kidding? After yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Yes, but not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little tit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. heavier than I thought. Ugh. Boom. Only three bottles left. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. The Bigfoots were here. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I... That kind of hurts. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this?
Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bot. Ouch. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Thanks for the tip. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. It's so quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. Where to find bottles? 
Maybe in an old refrigerator. This was an old school punk shirt. One more bottle to go. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. It's so sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Look what we have here, a cute little bottle for the taking. Voila, now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Show me the way, Max. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh! Pull the trigger. Now, Max, where do I aim? Aim a bit to your left. Chloe Bond has got this. <laughs> has got this. This blows. Chloe Bond has got this. Now, Max, where do I aim? 
Aim a bit to your left. Chloe Bond has got this. This blows. Now, Max, where do I aim? Aim a bit to the right. Beep, beep. Laser tracking on. This blows. Now, Max, where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old school. Lame. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's see you take a crack at that rusty barrel. Sorry, Mr. Barrel, your time has come. Listen to those fat bullet beats! Give me something to shoot, Max. Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Yawn. Give me something. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, I sh shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! Stupid gun! Hold on, Chloe. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Well, Max? Okay, you're too busy to help. Dude, I need a target. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! <laughs> You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. 
I better go chat up Chloe. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, ma'am. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I- That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?! Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't! You stole that shit! Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? 
we need a new secret hangout, at least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Is this your bad boy phase? No, it's my trying to scrounge some quick cash so Rachel and I could get the hell out of here phase. Frank had quick cash, that's all. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? That's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and has a great eye for images and for art? Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the bead poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ah! an inch. Please give me out Awesome. Of it's not locked. Max! Shit, I can't budge it at all. Blocking the drum. <sighs> the train's coming. <sighs> Hurry. This wedge locks the drum in place.
I better find the tool to cut those wires. I can definitely use this bad boy. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. Stupid light! No go! Oh, shit! But which wire to cut? Max, get me out of here! Now that's the right cable. Please. Yes! I did it! You okay? You saved me again! Crazy! Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn, that was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. 
You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. <laughs> Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. No. Never mind. Glad to see you weren't about to accuse another student of something or other. Now, if you'll excuse me. Sir? Oh. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please? I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti soiree You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. That snow was so insane. Seriously. Hello, climate change. Hi. 
Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. What does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Trevor surveys his domain. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. And her friends shopping for the party. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? If you don't understand mine... Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have... Proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. 
Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Dana, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You look like ass. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such... Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Assholes. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. You... No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. 
crew have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was... was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiroskiro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and I guess dark. Kate will miss class so now. Play the kids photography such I'm worried such about her. It's basic yin and yang, black and white See in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girls' dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. real? It slipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Who is that up there? Kate! No! Oh, God. She can't die. She can't. Not again. Not now. No! I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Yes. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop. Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now.
Don't worry, Kate. Things will get better. I promise. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. Like I said this morning, I think Nathan is involved. I just need time to prove it. And I have a way with time. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate! There are billions of videos out there. Yours will fade away like white noise. Oh, God, please, Max. You haven't seen the looks I get. Or the laugh. I understand, truly. I get bullied, too. But this is a blip. Yep, my life is a blip. Blackwell taught me I'm worthless. I'll prove it right now. Kate, you can't do this to all the people who care about you. No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. your mother, Kate. You'll destroy her. She doesn't care about a video. She loves you. You don't know my mother at all. She already thinks Satan has me on the fast track to hell. Let's prove it. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. 
That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but... I think I can use my power again. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She told me Max was the only one who believed her, would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video, macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in.
I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Alright guys, I think that'll be the end of chapter 2. I'm sorry you guys had to see that sad moment of a young high schooler. So, I was trying to save Kate, and that's the second time that I failed to save her. It, it really hit me. You may rest in peace, Kate. I saved you once. But I couldn't save you the second time I played this game. Well, the third time I should say. That I... Trying to save you. So, uh, yeah. There you are, Kane. You will live in your hearts forever. There's Chloe. And it looks like looks like Chloe wants to help out Max with of whatever what they want to figure out. You know, I played this three times of this game. Now there's a Rachel. And what are we going to see next? And they got a. F they brainwash Kate. So there are. They had their f another victim for their collection of Kate. This is getting really dark. You took Kate to... You, you told Kate to... Uh, the police... 
the answer to his call. You try to shoot Frank. You can save Kate. Yep. Uh, well, I, I blamed it for Mr. Je Mr. Jefferson. I just wanted to see how that story went. Because I already, I already picked you blamed David uh, before and blamed Nathan. So, so I just got to blame that Mrs. Jefferson. The rest is from the other story. Man, I really thought I was going to save Kate. I didn't want to. I didn't really want to let you guys see that happen right there. So don't ever do anything stupid in real life. Just talk to someone. And don't do what that character did in the game. And like I said, this game series is just a life choice of how you do in the game. And your main character is Max. But the very first game that you play is Before the Storm like of Life is Strange. Make sure you guys play that game first before you touch this one. You guys know the actual story of what happened. And then play Life is Strange 2. <sighs> Damn. Alright. I took about at least three hours since I did a, a, a little long intro. So I hope you guys will really enjoyed this episode even though you guys had to be all heartbroken when you saw that last minute seconds of Kate when we were trying to save her so so I hope you guys really liked this episode stay tuned for chapter 3 And we're not going to start it right now. So, because we are allowed to play the Chaos Theory. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys will, in once again, enjoy this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.